Look at the creepy crawly creatures of the night. Of the night. Let's see, now this is a game that benefits from the the uh, blood types of the previous game we played. Right. Yeah. Because, like, you know they got to taste different to have a Dracul type. I guess that's true. Maybe, like, if you're... Then what's your blood? Do you even know your blood type? Yes. Uh, I think I'm O. Strain to remember, oh, Chris Hammer. Which one is the... What's the one that's the universe... Hi, welcome to Late to the Game. I'm Chris Hammer playing Super Castlevania. Uh, I'm Carl. Yeah. Uh, blood type unknown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's our name? Uh, let's be... Let's be Pud. Pud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love the... <laughs> That's awesome looking in that font. It is. Hello, I am. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, whipping that wall is really gonna kick this adventure off right no that's just that's the test whip you oh, know okay. like when you pick up a pair of tongs and you gotta clack them a couple of times okay, just to make I sure they're good all right it. let me get uh let's see here's my jump that does nothing that does nothing so far okay cool. dude sweet background right you it's... think that's a real skull or somebody took the time to carve that <laughs> i think or is someone... that just a big giant fucking thing that died i think right that's there? like natural like the, the rock formation uh, just naturally formed occurred. that way that yeah. way yeah that's what happens in evil land. Oh, now I got the chain whip. Immediately? You haven't even fought anything to earn it. Well, shut up. That's bullshit. You're bullshit. I know. Getting some hearts. Boom. Okay, so my knowledge of Castlevania is quite limited. As uh, uh, so... I know Dracula, right? Is yeah, like the main... Yeah, it's like Dracula comes back every hundred years or something like that. Fun shit up. So I think right now our character's name is Simon Belmont? No, it's Pud. Oh, right. My bad. Pud. Uh, shit, man. I, I don't really know. That fucking... That drawbridge is closing. Are you going to get... Are you going to make it? Is he going to make it? I think I made it. There was no enemies in that first area. Right. Was, that like, was just giving your, you appeal. Yeah, getting getting to know you, getting to know all about you. And I can I do this. Was whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Right? Oh, and now it's, like, longer? Yeah. yeah. Extension. Bile. How you like me now? I like how they splatter apart. Not really splatter, but... What? So, all right. I guess we're just gonna get into it. Like, like, are we just doing this? Is this a yeah. series? Is it just yeah. me playing Castlevania? Okay. Yeah, pretty much. I'm very sorry if like this is frustrating to watch because I have only ever played this game like once, and I don't know if I'm. I, I know I'm not good at it. So you might just be watching us die a whole bunch. Uh, me. I'm glad I included you in my failures. So the ivy Do is I alive? Help? No, it's blowing in the wind. Okay, that makes more sense. Thank you. Well, how come nothing else is? The... What else? Like the grass, it should be moving as well. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so you had to go back there to avoid the pit. Yeah, I guess so. I don't literally do not think that I've ever played more than 10 minutes of this game. I never had this or anything. So does he reanimate the skeletons then? Whenever he was defeated from the last time? Dracula? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he comes back. Does he just appear in the castle? The I don't castle? know. Yeah, no, the, the, literally the castle appears. Oh, okay. And it's, it's different. Like it shows up. It's yeah. different every time, right? I guess, probably. Well, I mean, if you played 1, 2, and 3, the castles aren't identical. Well, uh, well no, yeah, of course not. They're not in the game. <laughs> but that's just skeletons. Ooh, you got a bats. Okay, so does it? I need to. Oh, what's that? I don't know, but it's blinking. Mary. No. Okay. Oh man. Nope. 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 Wow. I didn't yeah. Know you. Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Bye. Oh, yes, I got this thing. Okay, how do I throw this? There we go. Got it. Oh, it comes back to you. Yeah. Okay, it's, so... It's just like true love. <laughs> if you love it, let it go. This is never 
make any sense. That's basically just saying, like, yeah, if you're sad that your girlfriend broke up with you, you fucking get over it. And if it was meant to be, she'll come back. Yeah. I always tell myself that, so, oh, I was, we were talking about Louis C.K. last time, or uh, not last time, a little while ago. Yes. <laughs> but, like, he's got that thing where he's like, so I got divorced, this was, like, years ago, and I knew that that was going to happen because I was like, my God, nobody could get away with talking about their wife like this without getting divorced pretty soon. <laughs> like, in his old specials, do you remember? He's like, yeah. he's like, she used to have, like, clear blue eyes, they're black now, like, and I was like, ugh. <laughs> You were heading for divorce. Anyway, but he's like, don't worry about it. Like, no good relationship has ever ended. And that is something that's actually pretty wise and kind of stuck with me. Because that's, like, true. Yeah. Like, no good relationship has ever ended. Why would it? So any relationship that ends isn't really a sad thing because that means that it wasn't a good relationship. Yeah. I think people force force it too much. A lot of people do. Like, I did for the longest time, you know. Yeah. You're trying to force, like, the, the round pig into the square hole. Yeah. Like, in relationships. And people do that. And they, why, and they can't figure out why their relationship is shitty. Right. Even though deep down they know. Like, they this know. Isn't, this they just isn't... don't want to admit it because they don't want to be lonely. It's, it makes them sad. Oh, yeah. whoa. You can fucking swing from the rafters. <gasps> yeah. I like that the the stone gargoyle flaps oh, his God. wings. Oh God! They flap their wings, Chris Ham, as if to let you know, interact with me. Oh yeah, you're right. They're just like, look at me, I'm important. <laughs> you see what I'm doing? Look at me go. I also like that this one is just like, there's no real reason to do this. It's just like showing me. It's just like, hey, before shit gets hard, check this out. Oh, I can like, you can extend it. my whip. Very cool. What a good game. What a good game. I'm, I like it so far. I want this guy to fuck off. Am I hitting him? I don't even know. No, nope, I think you got him that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> so now it's like, yeah, now you could do this jump swing. And it's like, oh, okay, so here. Yeah, now it's like, this one, will you'll fall to your death if you don't get it. Don't do that. Well, I'm not gonna uh, not fall to my death. Bam. 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 Totally did. Nailed it to the cross. To the... Whoa. <laughs> you crucified it. Da -da 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 -da. This Jesus must die. <laughs> <laughs> must die, must die. This Jesus must, Jesus must, Jesus must die. <laughs> Is that uh, Jesus Christ Superstar? Fuck yeah it is, dude. Yeah. I love that musical. I think I've only ever heard the music to that. I, yeah, no, I've never actually seen that. You should watch it. It's it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I probably should. I love musicals. I sang a Rent song in karaoke last night. What's your favorite musical? Oh, uh, that's tough. Um, I really love Fiddler on the Roof. I re why is that? Why do why is it when I tell people that they laugh? Seriously? I've gotten that reaction so many times. There's some good songs in it. <gasps> oh, God! There's some good songs in it, and if you can get somebody to perform it really well, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, there's a show that comes through the Eisman all the time called uh, Senior Follies, and uh, there's a guy that, that did the Fiddler on the Roof one year, and it was solid. It was the... Yeah, there's good music in that, and it's a good, it's a cool, interesting story. I myself have not seen it, but I've heard the music. Um, there's a... Oh, that's... It's funny that you brought that up. I was actually just... I was driving and was listening to a story on NPR about... Um, there's a guy... I don't, I don't remember hardly any of the details. But basically, this guy that does musical productions uh, and is also Jewish is doing a completely Yiddish version of Fiddler on the Roof that's like on, on Broadway right now. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Like, the, like they're doing it in Yiddish. Oh, hey. So this dude's stranded on a beach, all right? Okay. And uh, he's been there for a long fucking time. And all he has is a sheep and a dog, all right? All right. So over the course of time, he develops a relationship with the sheep. He feeds it and oh, like pets it going. and uh, hangs out with it and sings to it. And uh, eventually his, uh, 
his love for the sheep grows and he wants to consummate the relationship. <laughs> so he makes his way over to the sheep and as soon as he gets close, BAM! The dog bites him on the ankle. Okay? Okay. So a few days later, he, he can't take it anymore. And so he tries to go mount the sheep again. And right as he gets close, BAM! The dog bites him on the ankle again. So this goes on for weeks and weeks until one Stop. day until one day he sees a figure on the beach and not only is it a woman but it's a beautiful woman okay and he saves her and he feeds her and uh she's so grateful and finally she says i can i will do anything for you and he says okay cool i need you to go walk the dog <laughs> That got me pretty good. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. I'm glad you liked it. I, sort of, I certainly did when I heard it. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of the... um. What's the one where it's like... Two guys are... Driving down the road and they see a sheep with his head stuck in a fence... And the one guy is like, hey, watch this. And he, like, runs over and because the sheep is stuck and can't get away. He starts fucking the sheep. And the other guy goes, oh, my God, that looks like fun. And runs over and sticks his head in the fence. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <so> stupid. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Oh, man. That's supposed to be one of those ones where, like, you use your friends in the joke. <laughs> oh, my God. We should call this episode Sheep Fucking? <laughs> Yeah, that'll be a good good start to this series. Sheep fucking. Look, there's like dead horses back there in the background. That's kind of cool. Are they eating that one that's on the ground? I think so. Dude, that's pretty brutal. Yeah, that's hardcore. Yeah. All right, well, I think we can call this an episode, right? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, right. yeah, I think that's good. Cool. All right, All right. later. Later. <laughs> I need you to walk the dog. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny.